Welcome everybody to another Let's Play with your host, Bones. You'll notice I am wearing, yes, another skull mask today. This one with some strange colors, and the reason for that is actually this is a tribute um, to this particular game which I'm doing. I thought, you know, what would be fun is to do some FMV games, which were full motion video games. And this one, as you can see here, is called Harvester. Now, back in the day, um, because I was born uh, at a time, I, let's just say I'm an 80s kid here, alright? Um, I was a little kid in the 80s, so during the 90s, the hike of these games peaked. They died out for a while. Um, there were a lot of great attempts, but this is considered one of the weirdest and most controversial video games of all time. You can Google it, I'm not messing with you, so... We're gonna do a decent Let's Play of this. I wanna give this uh, a decent long Let's Play, and we'll see where we end up. Will I end up dead? Will I not? I don't know. Um, we've had two of our other people in the studio. Uh, Shelly has gave us a shot. One of our uh, other people who does our sound stuff has gave us a shot. So we're gonna see where we end up with this game. I have never got to play this game. Um, I'm way late, obviously, since this came out in the 90s, but I'm excited, frankly, to see what all the hoop was about, and two, because I feel like I'm playing a piece of history. Um, there's some newer Let's Plays that I will be doing of FMV ones, too. I thought about doing FMV, FMV Week this week. I won't be wearing this for all of them. Your normal Bones mask will be back uh, tomorrow, of course. Uh, but, you know, we had some other great ones coming up. Maybe Tesla Effect, uh, Press X Not To Die. Uh, and of course, Harvester is the one I chose to kick things off because, from what I understand, this is a very messed up game. Uh, I'm going to try not to talk through everything. I, I hate it when people do that in less plays and miss things, so I apologize. Just giving you all a little background. Uh, I know this took them um, two years to make. I did watch the uh, making of this, a little bit of that. I felt like it was telling me too much, so I skipped ahead until it was just the camera work stuff and all that. Wow, my guy is beastly. I'm pale, but that dude's even pale. Um, and you'll notice the horrible pixelation. But look, guys, this was the 90s. Alright, so please bear with that. I'm told this is a very... A unique game, so I think we're in for a treat here. Uh, let's read a few other things. Holding down the control button plus the arrow keys allows you to attack opponents. I'm gonna try that after. Look before I leave. That's not really a tip. The help screen can be helpful, or better yet, read the manual. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends. I feel like they're just fucking with me at this point. Right clicking on some objects in inventory which is close up to the object. Right clicking on weapons in inventory activates and deactivates them. Press S to bring up the menu options. You can combine objects into new objects by clicking and dragging them onto one another. Okay, so uh I don't know, see that one's useful. Check your photo in the inventory screen and it will get worse as you take more damage. Nighttime will be the time of mischievous adventure. It normally is, isn't it? Mischief is my favorite. Alright, so. I click me, I examine my thing. Harvest Land, Furniture Warehouse. Spring 1953, so I'm guessing this is 1953. You can see my guy's sort of chunky. Picture there, and I'm on a Monday. My guy looks kind of like you would expect a. Good old fashioned local farm would look. Let's examine the plant, the recently watered plastic plant. Uh, how the binoculars? A pair of plastic binoculars with the lenses melted to the table. How long have I been asleep? Or is my guy just lazy? Uh, oh, examine the pinup. Sussy, sexy pinup. Really, game? Did we go there? A handful of faded hardbacks litter the lower shelf. What hardbacks? I need facts here. 
So when the record player Paper Doll by the Mills Brothers sits on the turntable. Oh boy, I'm stuck in like Donna Reed era. Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. Clearly my guy is a man of high fashion and variety. Um, examine the clarinet. Obviously, some fat high school girl left it here. I think that's a joke at my character's expense. Um, examine the dresser. The dresser is on Okay, so there's a gear turn. Gear turning must mean that I can interact. 25 cent piece. I'll take any money I can get. And there's a pen. I'm not even reading that shit. Can I take these sunglasses? As of yet, the future isn't so bright. I believe that is a nod to a Huey Lewis song. I think it's Huey Lewis. Um, if I'm wrong, don't bitch at me in the comments, please. It's been a while. But uh, the, the adage was the future is so bright I gotta wear shades, and it was a dopey song. I can already tell I'm gonna regret this, because 90s games were notorious for upping the sass factor, so this kid's gonna be a little shit. What? But I tell you, right away, what? Uh, maybe... I saw his name was Spike, so I don't care about that. Uh, where am I? In the doghouse if you keep bugging me, because I'm sick. And I'll tell mom if you don't let me watch TV. Well, that kid's an asshole, isn't it? TV. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? Did they just. Show a bunch What's of guts that? spill out of that, uh, I, that, uh, that I think about it. that just got shot. I can't remember. So what, I just saw. Oh, what was that you said? About retro rockets? No, retro. It means... It means... Oh, man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my terrible show. Please tell me there's a slap option for this kid. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you, you get watch his face this stuff? <laughs> the sure. This is part of history. The shock on his face was amazing. Great. And besides, blood and guts are neato. I'm calling it now. This little kid's gonna grow up to be a serial killer. Um, uh, uh, I'm done pissing today. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad. Well, a lousy rat. Okay. Good. Finally. Tap with an asshole if it is, eh? Uh, it's slightly creepy and I looks too friendly to be real kind of way. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Why would I Who eat them out of the trash? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. So sometimes look at, I, I want you all to look here. Around here. I don't remember. But how many cookies she has put in the trash. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. She's got like a butcher knife in that dress. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, let's go with charity bake sale, shall we? What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. <laughs> kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. 
Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. That sounds ominous and creepy. Um, so we're going to find out more about this Lodge. What Lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? Hey, why not? I'll go with you. That's yours. wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of harvest. That's just what Steve wants to be. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Okay, so I need to put the papers out for Jimmy. Let's examine the cookies. Let's examine those cookies. So much is not adding up here. And I do want to say that I feel like I'm missing a bunch of stuff, and if I am, don't yell at me in the comments, guys. I know I'm super late to finally play this game that looks better late than ever. You know what I mean? I'm in the newspaper box full of newspapers. So let's grab one and add it to my inventory for Jimmy. I don't know how that is. So somebody ripped out the tutu from the tutu cloth. It's kind of like fucking a belly button. Yeah, it serves no purpose. Okay. Sorry, that's an adult joke there. This little punk, this kid. Alright, well, we'll give you the paper. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, Steve, you've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that, and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? Did that kid just threaten me in like a weird, sinister, Twin Peaks kind of way? I'm actually getting a very Twin Peaks vibe from this. See you later, Alec. Um, and why are there security bars on my damn window? It says here they are fastened to the window with a Phillips head screws. I feel like that is an important detail. And the reason I say that, guys, is because the games of the 90s were very memory limited. So I feel like I would not know that unless there was a reason. Um, do, 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 where do we go in games? Generally, in most adventure games, I end up going to the general store or a store. Much like RPGs, you go to the place you can upgrade your armor. Dead roaches and bits of acrid of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. Why am I here? Three copies made here. I feel like that's useful. It's a projector with nothing on it. With a Gein Memorial stencil on it. What the fucking hell is this? Alright, let's talk to these folks. Here? How are you? This is Phelps General Store, so who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things. Maybe days. you need to be my memory. That you know what I totally feel that it's You always were a kidder, Steve. That's a second serious, person that's I called me a kidder. Help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? I don't know. Was I that a dick joke that lady just made about my father? Because that should be disturbing. I can't get in. Care to buy anything today? Uh, yes, please. Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. I swear this lady has been in movies. Anybody in the comments? Do you know what else she's been in? Um, if so, comment below, please. And uh, let me know. It's a butt. 
this is soup cans, but I want you all to notice that clearly that is like rat poison right there. There is no way in hell that is a soup can. That is a tool. A slightly is wrench. I feel like that is going to be useful. And tape. Uh, toffee cans. A cow is bleeding a robust toffee on these harvest blank toffee cans. This town is totally fucked. Cans of soup. The possibly rat poison? And what is up with the Gein thing? That is, I mean, obviously most of you watching this one must know who Gein is. A lot to take in. Um, I don't have much money. I got a quarter. So we'll give you the quarter. A girly magazine? Look at her face! She's like, that you. I shame. I that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly Not magazines behind Loomis. my counter. Let's pay Darn attention to that name. Him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Well, will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. What's wrong with being a fireman? Isn't that just like you're a, a fireman? That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty hard job. That's not easy. Um, let's see if they would let me in. <laughs> so these here, as I have said, are, are from the rest of our teams. I will start game three uh, as bones get up. Uh, dude, I, I'm not gonna lie. This game is weird. I'm too busy working to notice me. I'm probably thankful for that. I feel like uh, there's an abandoned house, a residence there, a residence there, a residence there, a cemetery, a shady soy. By moving my mouse here, it's letting me go around Gein Memorial School. So it's a school. TV station, Edna's Diner. Um, I'm gonna say first off, I feel like maybe in the 90s this moved slower. But as you can see, the map switches very quickly. So some of these things that are right here on the border, I feel like they could have done a better job with. like. Why not move Edna's Diner there on the map would have made more sense to me, but I don't know. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a reason. Oh, uh, God. I already know I'm gonna regret this, but since the deputy was discussed, let's go see the cops and see what we got here. And if this dude is not a ripoff of Boss Hog, then I don't know who he is. Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne. His name is Dwayne Dwayne. Pleasure, I reckon. Then we haven't met before? And there's Loomis. Of course we have. Herbert. But I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. I sure hope this is just a prank and not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean or you'll wind up in jail and that's no place to hold a wedding. I agree there. Uh... Okay. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia bunk? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't Whoa, anyone believe Steve, me? Turn it down well, down, sir. you've always been a kidder, Steve. What the fuck is yeah, with the so same? everybody keeps telling me. Boy, you need to stop all this funning and get serious. <laughs> Boy. You've got a wedding coming up soon. What? You should be thinking about your career and about joining the law. Have a wedding? Amnesia or no? You can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at Harvest. I think you and Stephanie are perfect for each other. I just hope her father's disappointment doesn't spoil everything. Disappointment? Mr. Potsdam wants to hold the wedding in the lodge, but he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month, waiting for Boyle to bring out that month's lodge all application. Right, so... Now we're getting some and There's guys. always a long line. Never enough applications to go around. And even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. 
fewer called to the order and even less accepted. And Potsdam, well, they've turned him down so many times. Unless so it seems like no matter what you do in this game, they start to point you in the directions you need to go, which I, I do appreciate. Uh, Lodge, maybe? I don't mind telling you. I'd never get anything done if not for the Lodge's efforts. To join the Order of the Harvest Moon is the highest dream of the Look how pleased hearts. he is to discuss them. Brainwashed. Can I get an application? Like I said, unless you get an application on the first day of the month, you're generally out of luck. Stop by the post office and talk to Postmaster well, that's Boy. That's my next, uh, you that's never my know. next one then. He might have a spare application laying around. Bye. Stop on by any time, Steve. Let's talk to the pervert. Anything I can help you with? That voice alone is like grating sandpaper. Help yourself. Speaking of which, you're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't look like a good woman. I just hope you gonna she don't my turn bride, out man? like Mrs. Loomis. Her mercy forbid, Mrs. Phelps. Good women can be awful hard on a man's needs, don't you know? I'm afraid to find out. Why, you sure ought to appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a parked car or a waist high knot hole in a tree or jail cell at noon. Matter of fact, Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you can get any, you see clear to part with them. Bring them around with the sheriffs at lunch and I'd be obliged. I just want to point out, we have our first quest, and it's for a friggin' pervert. Thank you so much, Harvester. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for something, uh, and this is a little much for y'all, maybe watch one of our other Let's Plays. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it now in advance, because I get the feeling this is gonna go to some very wrong and creepy places. mean French postcards. That's just what we called them in my day. Any kind of girly picture book, the kind men like, Amen. would be just dandy. I'd be right grateful, kiddo, if you were to bring me one. He's got like this creepy friggin' voice yeah, that I do time, not like. Kiddo. Um, I can't even, I honestly can't tell you what it is about it. It just breaks my nerves here um, and I apologize if you hear snoring but there's actually a dog asleep on my lap as I do our let's play today all uh, right so I gotta get this magazine to him while boss hog here goes for lunch so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna leave here let's take a little trip to see the postmaster maybe when we come back boss hog will be at lunch we're about to get the postmaster again I'm not done with that memorial school because I need answers. There's a meat plant. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of what kind of meat they're serving. I uh, have the idea that maybe it's human. I guess we'll see. What does this say? Examine the woman. A blind woman is trying to read her mail because why the fuck not in this town? Uh, I feel like this game is literally making me crazy. Um, if you've ever seen that uh, one movie with Ben Stiller with his an actor, I can't remember the name. Uh, and Will Ferrell says, I feel like I'm picking crazy pills. That's this game. Um, how did I miss this in the 90s? I'm a little pissed now. Because this thing is... Oh boy. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? Mm, sorry, youngster. We're out of applications right now. No, of course you Come are. on. You must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. 
We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. All Next right, all right. Vote, don't forget the zip code. <sighs> Back out into this crazy ass town we go. What have we acquired so far? Magazine and a pen. Let's get our little butts back to uh, the police station, right? Wasn't it, guys? Um, the general store has. What's here? Let's uh, let's make a little detour and visit the houses. Examine the picture. The man of the house squeezing his meat. Did this game just make a dick joke, really? The ashtray is shaped like a particular human organ which shall remain, remain nameless, and I'm okay with that. There he is, my future oh, son-in-law, and how's he doing today? What brings him to the pot? Straight out of a also? fucking horn, huh? movie, this guy. Huh? Uh, I came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Up with the meat thing. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Kinda makes up for not getting into the lodge. Alrighty. Now you also notice that my picture is a little smaller than normal, and that's because I didn't want to take away from the game since this is a FMV. Um, if it's too small for you to appreciate, I do apologize. I do hope you like the mask. Um, I actually got this as part of the, the ones that I wear outside normally, but uh, I thought it was appropriate. A weird skull mask for a weird game. Um, okay. Dare I ask anything else? Not yet. I have a feeling this guy is going to talk my damn head off instead of help. So let's talk to the missus. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? Mm, you look just like my mom. Honestly, look at the hair. you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same cut of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Poston Jr. can be counted on to do her share. You realize her first name is Marvin? Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband at all times. What's wrong with wearing pearls, for heaven's sake? Nothing. Lord, if I'm gonna have like a few Jim day Cleaver. with this man. Some kind of sitcom mom. Sitcom? Jeez, you know, a situation comedy. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know that. I'm much too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Poston would know about sitcom. <laughs> Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. Okay. Mr. Poston feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? Oops. I don't know your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No. She's as delighted as we are about the wedding. Every bit as delighted as we are. But she might get hit by a car or a fallen piano or who knows what. Mr. Poston wants us all to be one happy family, and he doesn't want to risk anything happening at the last minute. I do not believe that. I don't see any reason why not. 
Okay, she's fucking crazy. My regards to your parents. She literally just switched personality. Did you guys see that? In the closet, and that one won't budge. I'll try the upper door. There she is. <laughs> She's not even gonna. You're not even gonna turn around and look at me, lady. Really? Who you gotta talk you? with your back turned. What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one, Steve, isn't it? You mean you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. So, both him and her don't remember anything. But the rest of the town is acting like they should. That's interesting. Okay. The wedding is only three weeks away. Not much time to get to know each other, is it? Um, do you like Yahtzee? Thanks. But I wouldn't marry anyone with things, you know, as they are. Yeah, well, they can't force us to go through with it. If it comes down to it, we just won't take the vows. I don't think anything in Harvest is that simple. Too many people are determined that we get hitched. Why? Potsdam wants the meat your father promised him. Your parents want to force you to settle down. Mrs. Potsdam wants to have the wedding in the lodge. Me? I just want to escape. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. And love is a battlefield. Of course I'm right. Jeez. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. Well, that's not gonna that's help me. That's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. I think that's a game problem. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You guys see You're a really dog the Lodge. There's a little dog right here. I look at that building. Apparently I roll it up at night and so I get scared. scared. Second cut scene. I mean, scene. look at the damn thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Uh, we're gonna cut it there for half an hour. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Are you gonna turn around and look at me this time? Instead of just turning your back to me like an NC teenager? That's kind of rude. And then again, so walking around random people's homes, examine the picture. She heard it. Which on the wall seems a bit crooked. Uh, and the dog just shared a moment of looking at each other. YouTube, don't ban this video. That was still within the confines of PG 13 ish, alright? So. Uh, also, I did not know that was there. So, somebody. Uh, somebody these cannot be her real parents, man. I am a parent. I would never be peeping on my own freaking kid like that. That's creepy as shit. Can I just, like, raid everything here? Just take it all? Why am I picking up the tampons? Maybe I need them for a bloody nose? I don't know. Nope. 
I wanted to put the picture back and save the poor girl some dignity. <sighs> okay. So we have two moms obsessed with baking. This dude, he seems slightly in a perverse way to have a meat fetish. Um... A little brother bent on violence. Uh, a mail carrier who doesn't want to work with us on things. A pervert of a... That makes two town perverts. Well, one town pervert. I don't know that the other guy's a town pervert, per se. Yeah, nothing creepy about this friggin' place. Look at all these rocks. Ooh, Jesus. I don't like the music in here, guys. I'm gonna tell you that. And is that a goddamn wasp nest to you? I think she worships these. It's not often that I get visitors. I am fed to a creepy. crumb. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The having imagination. The Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. So should we say she is a waspist? Is that her religion? I don't quite understand that. Uh, honey? The politics of honey are intertwined with the age-old struggle of the aesthetic versus the commercial. Because I choose to raise wasps instead of bees. Maybe it's because wasps are little assholes who keep stinging you for ages. Why? Well, raising bees right, puppy. is acceptable because That's where there really is a dog down here. Honey. Probably can't but sometimes it's not what is Puff -puff, produced. You want to be on camera for a minute here? So you much be as what is performed. I don't He's see any particular this, use for wasps. Guys, but there he is. That is proof there is a puppy. Okay. Is money there you go. always the Another determining account, factor? More slender. More aerodynamic than the bee. The wasp is a joy to behold. Even that wasp has that friggin' weird, uh, beautiful and juicy. Isn't that enough to compensate for the little drawbacks? I think she eats these wasps. Uh, bye. We're leaving Crazy Wasp Lady's house, so. That just happened. You should see the dog looking at me, it's like he's reacting to every one of these, which makes it even funnier. On my end of things. Um, I actually don't even know if I'm totally in this Let's Play video for you guys, if uh, you can see me there, but I hope so. So there are weeds there. And again, in 90s games, it is important to note that almost nothing is there by coincidence. So let's go back to the police station and hope what's his face is at lunch he is. Alright, guys. The only real clue we have is to go to the creepy magazine oh. or creepy dude. Oh, by George. Oh, by Jiminy. Oh, this here's the real thing. Oh, can I have it? Sure. Oh, oh, thank you, Steve. Excuse me, kiddo. I gotta go check the jail for clean towels. This town is fucked. 
I would just like to point out that that's the law. I don't even know what I'm grabbing, but I'm grabbing everything I can before the sheriff comes back. I'm grabbing every goddamn thing I can get. That's a key. And what did I tell y'all before? Adventure Game 101. You grab keys. Door is locked. I got a key. Will that key fit? That key will probably fit because... Voila! Thank you, memory constraints on 90s games. Uh, what do I even look for in here? It's a bunch of crap. I'm literally grabbing every friggin' thing I can. I will read it when I'm out of the confines of here. I just want to get in and out of here before Deputy Doolittle comes back and kills my ass. Uh, because I do not want that. So there's a camera I've taken, some other crap, I, I don't even know what. Um, yeah, fuzzy teddy bear wielding a chainsaw, because why wouldn't there be? And another set of binoculars without lenses, because why wouldn't there be? Padlock, can I take the padlock? I can't take the padlock. Can I open the cabinets? I cannot. This prop helps the sheriff meet his parking tickets quota. Some of the dough. Not surprisingly, we must have tainted this evidence. There are so many dick jokes in this, it is unreal. Okay, oh god. Hello, I think he's Steve. Me. Oh, where's Loomis? Yeah, but come around. I'm out. Here she comes. Whoa. Are you serious? <gasps> Loomis, stab you. <laughs> Wait, no, no. No, no. Uh, he is whooping him with his finger. <laughs> we are witnessing an old man who just got busted for spending a little private time with the soldier and then just got his ass beat by a... Oh boy. I, don't, I honestly don't even know what to say about this game, other than that the whole town is crazy or just plain weird. Uh, police station with your newspaper building on fire station, so let's hit this. Oh! What happened here? Three fire hydrants in this building still burned down. That is good. Good point. Same the ashes. That is a shovel. Can I grab the shovel? Nope. Shovel on ashes. We're here, so why not? Oh, something's there, right? What do we find here? That looks like a big sale flyer that's burned. A postal worker's button, and it looks like it was ripped from the cloth. Uh, you know what? While we're at it, why don't we take a closer look at all the stuff I took? That's a sheriff's checkbook. And it looks like there's a lot of deposits here. Uh, Boyle, was that not the name of the uh, Postmaster Boyle, right? That's over $1,000 freaking dollars he keeps paying the sheriff, but why? And a deposit to something called WAR, W-H-A-R. What a bit of money. Felix ammunition. We got that tax deductible. Um, but look at all these, man. A bunch of stuff. I think that's what it is. Maybe it's $12.50. Oh, no, it looks like $12.56. I think it's $12.50. I'm trying to figure out what that would be around. Um, maybe if I looked at more than numbers here, but I'm not really interested as much as I'm trying to play this weird ass game and get into it. Um, sure, if you think I'm going to keep paying this forever, you're crazy. There are limits, Boyle. So, the sheriff is clearly blackmailing Boyle. Uh, I think our next step is obviously we're gonna skip the fire, uh, house for a moment and head on over. Have yeah, a little discussion here with our little postmaster now, shall we not? God, that last place looks creepy as fuck. 
Oh, I did say I should have stepped around some of these two, didn't I? Oh, what do you guys think I should do? Tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna hit the post office first, then we'll come back around. I feel like this is like a must do thing. What do I do though? That's a postmaster's button, right? Button. Let's start there. Why I lost that months ago? Where did you find it? it? Funny thing that. I found it in the ashes. At the newspaper building. What are you implying? That I had something to do yeah, with that's setting frowny the fire? Face. Preposterous. Why a hundred people must have visited that site since the fire? I feel like Steve would do this, because clearly Steve is slightly unstable and has already rose to temper a few times. And what if I did? I guess I'd be pretty grateful to anyone who could help get me off the hook. How? Hmm. You seem like a capable lad. Hypothetically, let's say there was a gas can sitting in the evidence room of oh. the sheriff's office. A gas can which might have some incriminating prints on it. Someone might be very grateful for the return of that gas can. Say, grateful enough to provide whoever returned it with a large application. Oh, and Steve, you'll keep this to yourself. Well, you're hypothetical Steve happens to have the hypothetical. You know what? Fuck it. You all knew what I meant, I hope. Oh my god. I can't believe it. After all this Hypothetical time. Guest. Where's my application, Boyle? Yeah, Boyle. Here. Get on it, it, son. With my thanks. You know, this morning as I was making my rounds, I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each day. You got me this can just in time, youngster. I may have need of it again. What do you mean? There's another reason why Sheriff Duane didn't investigate the Sentinel fire. If you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. Why you still can? Uh, that's a pretty clear admission that he's going to burn the shit out of that station, so... Oof. I feel like there's a sinister undertone in this game that is, uh... I don't really know what else to call it. It's not presented itself yet, but it's there. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's clearly there. It's just not shown itself. God, I do apologize for the sniffling and almost sneezing a few times and all that. Uh, it is cold weather out here. Talk to Pet O'Reilly. Is that a dead fucking cat? What the hell, game? Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same. But you're with the scar. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying Hoping. you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? You see what I'm saying though, guys? This is like a lot of 1950s uh, lingo, um, lighting out, hokum, that sort of thing. Somebody did their homework. That would be Space Cat you hear in the background. Uh, so let's see. Let's talk about the cats. What's with all the cats? Is this a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or look at how pissed he looks. That's good to know. Your father will be very happy if he recovers. My point was only you shouldn't allow animals in the food processing area, right? We don't let them get into the meat. That's unsanitary, and the health department wouldn't stand for it. There's things you don't know about the family business, but you'll learn. Okay. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. 
And we it's very true of most things. Only the juiciest cut. What the fuck? Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting. What cars. is that? We know what we're doing here. St if we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? No, no. What was that? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give yeah, you. Yeah, well, I can't even get to my father. So what's, how do I do about that? Um, other pup. Cat's going nuts because the cat wants on my lap. The dog is on my lap, so the cat's going crazy. Now I put them both on my lap, but you see, uh, this dog is some sort of mutant uh, animal, so he is much larger than he normally should be, and uh, that is not like a, a overweight joke or anything. It's just larger than most of the breed normally would be. We think so. We don't know why, but. Uh, he's very healthy. He's a happy little, happy little pup. Um, I'm petting space cat here while I consider my options. What do you guys think? Um, let's ask a little more about Dad's illness. I'm curious. What, what exactly is there? wrong with your dad? I don't know. I can't get in to see him. So I need a Phillips head. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. I'm betting he's in that room that's locked up. Examine the inventory. Uh, no, 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 no. Son, I do not want to come talk to your weird ass again. And what do we have here? Examine the man. Okay, let's do it. Walks like he's got a diaper on. Alright. <laughs> I feel like the inventory alone is all you need to know about the game. The fact that there is literally like a. Uh, I, you know. I mean, what do you do? Oh, pen. Let's fill That's out the ticket. lodge application at least. There's a meet permission slip. Let's see, grade 3 product from Harvest Meats. Grade 3 would be grade C meat. Uh, just so you all know, what you buy from the grocery store is normally rated A or B. C is not normally considered good enough for human consumption. Uh, at least as far as I know. If I'm wrong on that, drop me a thing in the comments. Uh, obviously, cats are in the meat tier, let's be honest. That's implied enough for me to believe it. Uh, dog, I do not know what you want. You are as up on me as you can be without being some sort of weird fan girl. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the dog's around here. Um, I don't even know where to go. Like, my head is crazy right now. Um, I, I literally feel like I have just lost my mind playing this game. Uh, that I have so, just like, so many, many questions. Uh, God, what, do, what am I doing here? Let's, uh, let's try, uh, let's try, uh... Oh, goodness. Um, I, I don't know. You know what, we're gonna call this one here. I need time to think about a strategy. Maybe we'll come back to this one. We'll see. Drop me some comments. Subscribe. Like. Let us know how you like this one. If you do, the next one we do will be press X to survive or press X not to die. Forgive me, I don't quite remember the name. And we will get to Tex Murphy. Tesla Effect is a game after that because that's also an FMV game. Trying to bring some light to some of these FMV games. Harvester is very cheap on Steam, you can find it. Uh, it comes with all sorts of goodies and extras, including the full soundtrack, uh, which is creepy as shit so far. So good Halloween music, guys, you know, good bonus. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me as always. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a good day.